What is going on, comic fans? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Mark. This is Legion of Comics, and today we're going to be taking a look at the upcoming Absolute Superman. The Absolute line from DC that I'm most excited about is most definitely Superman, and it's because I'm just biased. I absolutely love Superman, and I think there's a lot of room to do a lot with this story. We're going to be looking at some of the announcements, updates that happened since uh, I went into the blackout mode due to the hurricane, and there's a lot to discuss and talk about. I'm excited to do it, and we'll see if this seems like something that's going to be a hit or a miss. We need your help to decide. Be sure to leave a comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Let's go. Check the description to all my videos to find the fantastic sponsors and find some great resources for this fantastic hobby like Big Time Collectibles, Phenomenal Online Retailer, Justin Comics if you need cleaning, pressing, or grading services, and ABX Comics and Games, my local comic shop where I pick up all the books you see featured here on this channel. If you don't have a comic shop near you and want to set up a pool list, they can be your online long-distance comic shop. They are, in fact, the community's comic shop. You can't beat it. You cannot. They're the best. All right, let's get into it. So Absolute DC Comics is here. I did the all-in video. Absolute Batman is out. Absolute Wonder Woman is scheduled to come out next. But then November 6th, the big one, the one that I'm hoping they save the best for last, which is crazy to think because of how good Absolute Batman was. But Absolute Superman is the one that I'm most hyped about. Early on, we got a little bit of information about it, kind of the spin on the concept itself that it's not going to be Superman who has Smallville or has his Kryptonian family or the super family. It's now we know from DC's all in special that this is a world where hope is not the go to where it's actually villainized. It's frowned upon. If you haven't seen the all in special video, there's a lot of context for the absolute line and all the absolute comics in the world and all that. Check that video out. I'll try to link it at the end of this, but we're going to look at absolute Superman because it was today when I got my internet back and it was today when I opened my DC universe infinite app. And it was today when I noticed that they had a preview for absolute Superman. So I've got the pages here. We're going to look at some of the stuff and some of the information that we got back from it, but they gave us a look, what looks like the opening few pages, opening five pages of absolute Superman taking place on Krypton of all places. We get the sprawling shot illustrated by Rafa Sandoval. Of course, Jason Aaron will be writing this story, but it's talking about, uh, was it years ago, 9 million light years from Earth, the planet Krypton was ruled by its cities. And it says, like the like this sprawling city, Kandor, and its lab-grown gardens and lava-powered energy plants. And it's um, it, it pretty much talks about how it, the planet is set up, ran on like lava, lava flows, and uh, the ruling class of the planet itself is the science elites. And you can tell from that bottom panel there, you see the sun emblem on all their robes. That actually is a callback to the earliest Superman comics when uh, Jor-El himself had that logo on his shirt. But this is our ruling class. So it looks like they're setting up a hierarchy, which is pretty common in some of the stuff we've seen. But uh, and this is where things get a little different. We cut to the farms in the middle of nowhere where we finally get introduced to some familiar faces. And we see none other than Lara, Superman's mom, who's a mechanic working on a harvester for this farmer. And they're kind of making comments about how like this ruling class is doing him dirty, making them pay for rain. They're late to deliver it, price gouging. And we also learned that it's illegal for Lara to operate as a scientist. She's one by nature, but uh, she was kind of expelled from the uh, science elites. And uh, after a little bit of discussion, fixing the harvester, this uh, farmer offers to pay her in food, won't take no for an answer. Obviously, she's a good person and would have, done it just off uh, the kindness of her heart. And they talk about where Jor is and they talk about how he's going under, how he's going under for the umpteenth time, over a thousand times, whatever going under means. I guess he's some kind of worker, lowly uh, citizen worker kind of thing. The rain drones show up and drop some rain on the farm and you see her kind of longing for more. I think it's going to be tragic when we see them go out, but it was pretty cool little interesting dynamic we have here with the, the different classes. If you're a scientist, you're an elite, and on top of that, you get to control who is a part of that class with you. And despite her, her genius, her obvious genius, she's at the lowest point on the totem pole, like out in the middle of nowhere where they have to uh, depend on that ruling class to even survive. But after I read those, I took to the internet and looked around to see if there was any kind of news or anything. And Bleeding Cool did a report already on them and uh, put up some thoughts. So from Bleeding Cool, they talked about and pointed out 
that an absolute Superman, Jor and Lara are not part of this elite. Turns out independent scientific research is illegal and Lara and Jor are forbidden from engaging in it. And that's what we get. They went on to talk about that the Krypton has a serious class system imposed upon it from the scientific elite over the unskilled laborers. Instead, they are farmers and part-time mechanics, which we saw on those pages. And rain costs the tech isn't what it once was. And something is clearly up, both politically as Lara sees it and environmentally as Jor-El does. And both have been exiled to the communists. And this is the part that was really interesting to me. This is where things kind of start looking a lot different. The S shield is not the house of L in absolute Superman. It's the symbol for the lowest of the low working class, the laborers, the workers, the people of steel. I thought that was fantastic. So it's not a house emblem. It's your, it's your worker designation. Like if this was Titanic, Leonardo DiCaprio would have had the S on, but I thought that was pretty cool. Nice little concept. We didn't, it didn't get into any of the Superman stuff, but just those little tease at Krypton, but over on X, I did notice earlier in the week that a few pages, their unlettered, came out and showed us uh, some of the dynamic artwork of that Peacemaker core, the uh, group of Peacemaker. I think it's called like the Lazarus something that they're working for, the Lazarus Project or something like that. But they're clearly hunting down Cal in this scene, and we get to see a little bit of fighting. Look at that fist flying through the air with that uh, dynamic energy on the wrist gauntlet, and it smashes up their vehicle dives in front of the people and just uh, getting shot all up and just, just standing there, not phasing them. But those are some fantastic pages. Rafa Sandoval's art looks amazing. I think this is really going to hit. And uh, we got New York Comic Con happening. And Jason Aaron described the opening arc as dark, tragic. Everything is different. New info is the peacekeepers who work for the company called Lazarus Corp. And they're calling them peacekeepers, not peacemakers, which is uh, pretty interesting. So I expect to see some more information dropping through this weekend. And if it does, I'll definitely have covered it on at weeks in because every Sunday at eight 30, I go live for the recap and the wrap up. And, uh, this is being recorded before Sunday and released after. So if there's more information, I'll have definitely put it out in that. But the most interesting thing that happened, and I shared this on my social media, early copies are going out to specific people, some shops, just trying to get word of mouth out there. This, this book is already about to be sold out at the distributor level. I saw some reports that said it was close to it. Go ahead and get your orders in. So hopefully it makes it, hopefully it gets sold out well before the release date, like uh, Batman did, but a writer who I respect a lot. I love his style, respect his opinion. None other than the, the master Mark Miller with the Miller world stuff. He posted over on X that absolute Superman number one in my inbox over the weekend, courtesy of Jason Aaron. And as a Superman fan beyond all mortal men, let me assure you that this book is for you. Like uh, Scott Snyder's absolute Batman. This is going to be massive final orders today. So final order cutoff is uh, we're past that. We are past the FOC date, which means that's the date that you order straight from the distributor. You can still reach out to comic shops and try to secure copies. Like most all comic shops, and at least good ones, order beyond the number of the their subscription to have some on the shelves the day that they open up. Absolute Batman sold out at my LCS. DC All-In Special sold out at my LCS, and they sold out fast. So uh, be sure to reach out to shops. But what do you think about this whole Absolute Universe, specifically absolute Superman. I know that I've talked to a lot of people. I've seen comments from a lot of people and some of myself where they're talking about, I've added this to my pool list. I'm not typically a Superman guy. I'm not typically a DC guy. And this has gotten their attention, their curiosity, and they're jumping in. I think that this could be awesome. I think it could definitely be a hit as an all, all over thing, not just for Superman fans. I think it's going to bring in a lot of readers. I know that Batman delivered. So people are who picked up issue one, a lot of them are coming back for issue two. I hope Wonder Woman's able to do the same. I hope this is able to do the same. I'm really excited for it, but we'll talk about more as we get more information. That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to comment down below your thoughts. Hit that thumbs up. It helps out a lot. And be sure to subscribe and hit that join button. Become a channel member today. And until next time, as always, I'm Mark, but we are Legion.